Hello my friends, welcome to Kerbal Space Program, where we are going to install a few mods. Now, the reason for these mods is not to cheat, but actually to create more of a realism in quality of life. Now, admittedly, the best mod probably ever made was the Mech Jab, and it shows on the website, <laughs> because it is the first and most popular mod. But, it gives you more control on takeoffs, and as you know, Every rocket that has taken off from the Earth to go to space has always been automated in some way, and MechJab helps with that. So just go Google KSP Mods, and it'll take you to the, your very first search should be Cursed Forge. And then the very first one, this is what we're going to install, MechJab 2. This, you can use a installer, but I'm going to do this the manual way. And we got the zip file, and this is all the stuff inside it. We don't even need to move these items. We just need to move this folder right here. Now, in Steam, you can have two places. You go to Manage, and you go to this right here, Browse for Files. Or you can right-click on the game in your list on the side and do the same thing, Manage, Browse Files. So that'll take you to it within your computer, or... In Epic, we also have the same similar ability. Go to Manage, and then down here, there's a folder icon next to Uninstall. You click on that, it'll take you to the folder directory. And then when you're in here, you're looking for Game Data, and then just drop MechJab in here. Just the main folder. So let's go over, grab MechJab. I'm going to Control c or you could right-click and copy. Go over and paste it. Here we go. MechJab is now in this folder. When you start up the game, though, this is why you got to be careful with mods. They make this startup longer. This took probably easily two or three minutes, which is about a minute longer because it had more stuff to load. You can also get to the Curse Forge by clicking on add-ons and mods. It's almost like the game was designed to have mods. So let's jump into the game and let's look at where MechJab is. MechJeb is an add-on that you get through the science. So we go into science, and the first time you see it is right here on flight control. When you have enough research points to research this, you can get it, but it doesn't give you all of what MechJeb can do. The basics kind of is, it gives you a whole bunch of data that you can use, as well as it gives you basic controls, kind of like you always have a Jebediah in your spacecraft to turn on the SAS, MechJeb acts as the SAS, which is funny because they actually call it Advanced um, Stability System or something like that, which uh, you'll see in a minute that the acronym is kind of inappropriate, but it is just an acronym. It's not actually saying anything. So just to make my point, I'm going to put a scientist in my pod so that I cannot use the SAS system because Bob Kerman can't do that. Jebediah or Valentina can, but Bob Kerman can't. So what I need to do is, see, I just hit the SAS and it says, nope, you can't do this because you don't have a pilot on board that can use SAS. So let's launch. And uh, I screwed something up. Hmm, maybe we shouldn't do it that way. It appears that with this basic jab, if you have it activated on some of these lower controls first, yeah, you're going to have some wonky experiences. But after learning a few things, I realized if I just hit kill rotation, that will act as my SAS system for this launch. See, it's a lot more stable. I can even wiggle the rocket around a little bit and I'm not flipping over. It's great. So, as we're ascending here, you'll probably have noticed on the left side my staging is messed up for this particular flight and that didn't work out well and so just like in Kerbal regular logic I had to do this a few times before I did that but if you noticed in the top left I pushed on like the little sun thing to bring it up to daylight which is a lot better time to launch it makes it easier so let's enable our mech jab here and Let's go through the launch, and you can see just how stable it is. McJeb keeps all the gyros running, and we even have a little tiny advanced gyro on the very nose of the craft right now. And I can make more personal decisions with this basic McJeb. There are a few more unlocks, and some of those unlocks do automatic staging. I'm having to do the staging manually, so I still have to pay attention 
to when the rockets or the engines run out. And it's easy, it, it changes the dynamics of the game so that you can focus more on like building craft and stuff. It's, to me, makes it so that I can actually play the game and enjoy the science of the game rather than have to be super extremely careful and awesome to be able to get into orbit. And easy as pie, I'm able to get into orbit without any troubles. And again, staging works and just a little bit of patience and learning how to use make jab. Now, if you notice, I switched over to, to the button called Prograd, which points the ship continuously along the arc of our orbit, which as we get into a proper orbit, it means that we will just keep one side of the craft towards the planet at all times instead of slowly drifting around and keeping our position static, which is what Kerbal Space Program does. If you don't have anything enabled, your craft will just point in one direction continuously. It's great, which not too surprisingly is probably true to life in real space situations. If you send a satellite off in a direction, I'm sure that it pays or stays in that direction until it has another force acting upon it, which is kind of cool. Anyway, what we also have going on here is just the, the seamlessness of adding the mod. Uh, the highest rated mods in CurseForge have all been vetted and the guys who have been putting them together have taken great care to make sure things work well with the game. And KSP is truly a game that actually kind of thrives off of mods because they give people the opportunities to change and improve the realism or make things easier based on uh, their own tastes. And it's fantastic. And I love the fact that even in the start menu, you saw there's a mods thing that directs you straight to Curse Forge. It's, it's kind of cool. So, so right here, I'm going to finish making my orbit. And the beauty of this is, is the mech jeb is helping us point exactly along our orbit path. And that's one of the beauties of it. Even in real life, rockets would go through an automated system just to get to space. And this gives us that opportunity. I hope this helps you guys. Have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.